And there goes the back of the sofa. Well, today's the day we're doing this thing. I've already got the sofa detached. Just got to remove it now. I think we're going to take the back off of the sofa but it is free floating right now and there goes the back of the sofa is that working yeah did it come off or do I need to go so that is the sofa removed we removed the bar that had the seat belts on it, um, which will just make things easier to get in and out. And I'm not gonna have anybody riding back here. So, as you can see, yeah, quite a bit of space back here. There's the battery, water pump and plumbing. So none of that's gonna be moved or touched. We're gonna work around that. And then this is the partition that's gonna stay in place. So, there's the walking space. It'll be, I mean, it'll obviously it'll be much more narrow, but uh, yeah, this is, I think this is going to be pretty cool. Well, as you can see behind me, the couch is now gone. We discovered when we removed the couch that we could take the cushions off, um, which has saved us a big step because we can actually reuse that as the platform to support the um, boards that the mattresses are going to go on. Um, so that saved us having to uh, build out something. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to the next steps this weekend. We will start the platform process. Uh, we're going to got the wood and we're going to cover that with um, kind of like an automotive, like a heavy felt. And this is the wood for the platforms. It's a nice uh, three quarter inch thick hardwood. This is the felt that we're going to use. Um, you can see it's let's see, got a nice thickness to it. And that's going to go over the boards. This is a uh, daybed cover that I found. It fits perfectly on the mattresses. And you can see the color goes well. And then I had some sheets made. Um, for the size of the mattress. It doesn't have the cutouts or the, for the notch or the curve, but, uh, but the length and width is the same and the mattress height as well. And then this is um, a moisture barrier that you put between the board and the mattress just to keep mildew, moisture. That's what they say to put these, uh, if you don't have slats, they say to put these uh, between the mattress and the and the platform, and of course, most importantly, Misty approves of the uh, David cover.
project is about 98% done. Um, I have the beds in, as you can see behind me, they're all made and everything. Uh, the only thing left is um, figuring out what we're going to put in between them. Um, we're kind of tossing around some different ideas. Um, we had thought about like a little, some kind of wood box thing, I guess, like a nightstand kind of thing. Uh, but it's about, probably about, I think the max would be like five inches um, space between the beds. So be pretty narrow. So the other thing we were thinking about was maybe something like a, a automotive, I don't know, I say automotive, but you know, like one of those little like uh, cup holder things that you can get for your vehicle. Um, I haven't found anything yet that would, would quite work in that spot, but but we'll figure it out. But yeah, it came out great. I can't wait to go out and try it out. I, w I wanted to go camping this weekend to, or I say camping, um, but yeah, to a campground <laughs> this weekend, the one that I like to go to that's uh, about an hour from here. Um, and yesterday and today, the weather is like a normal summer. I mean, it feels really nice out. It's, I think it's about 95 degrees, um, which I know some people will be like, 95, that's hot. Well, <laughs> it's been like 100, and, 100 plus degrees every day for a couple of weeks. So it was a nice break. But this weekend's supposed to get even hotter. And like, I think they're saying like up to 109, or I, th I think I even saw 111 for Saturday, which I'm like, ugh. And even, and I thought, well, even if I get a shaded site, it's just, it's going to be so hot that, you know, to have everything closed up and just be in here, I'm like, that's not, that's not fun. So, you know, I want to be able to go outside and not melt. So, yeah, can't wait to take it out. And hopefully maybe the following week, the weather, the weather will be a little bit, a little bit more forgiving. But um, anyway, yeah, uh, I, I think it came out really good. I really appreciate uh Kevin was the RV tech that helped us with it. Um, he helped cut the boards and measure everything out. And uh, yeah, it's, it came out really good. Um, and if I'll get his permission, but I'll um, see if he has any contact information I can, I can put uh, in the comments because um, he is a mobile tech. So if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area um, and need a mobile tech, um, I definitely would recommend him. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll get his permission before I put the put his contact info down below. But um, anyway, uh, this is it. <laughs> so I decided at the last minute I was going to come up here, um, even though it's really hot this weekend. <laughs> I actually got stuck in traffic and it was. 113 degrees on the dashboard, you know, the thermometer on the dashboard. Um, and it's, it's pretty warm outside. I'm also going to see how well this air conditioner keeps things cool in here. Uh, cause my old one would not like there would be no way I could tolerate a hundred over a hundred degrees in here, you know, outside in here. Um, but anyway, so I, got here maybe about an hour or so ago just kind of relaxing um, but uh, mainly I just want to see how this works out um, but I did get a nice spot up here I don't know if you can really see through the windows but um, I have a lake view spot and I do have shade so hopefully that'll help uh, tomorrow so I thought I'd come outside and finish up this video uh, slept pretty good last night well, I say that, I guess when I slept, I slept pretty good. I had a little difficulty falling asleep. Um, not because of the bed. I think it's just I have issues with sleeping sometimes. But the bed itself was pretty comfortable. Um, it's kind of funny. I'll have to get, you know, you kind of get into a routine. And so I had a routine, um, you know, when I had the bed set up the other way, the way I usually had it, you know, sleeping east-west. And so, and I would use the jump seats like a nightstand, but, um, so now I don't have my jump seats, but I had the other bed. So everything kind of went over there, which actually kind of worked out. So I didn't have stuff piled like pillows piled up in the front, but, uh, yeah, I think it's going to work out well. Um, of course now I have to try it out with two people in there. I'll have to take a little trip with my daughter, uh, soon, but right now it's just so hot to go anywhere, like to go anywhere. 
you have to go a distance to get out of the heat but um anyway you can see this is a this is pretty nice campground if you see behind me let's see yeah i see where i'm parked so i'm facing the lake and i do have trees which is nice um but yeah i like coming up here it's I think I mentioned it before, it's far enough away from home that I feel like I'm going somewhere, but it's close enough I could just come up at the last minute. And you can see there are, let me turn this around. There actually are some boats out there today. There weren't any yesterday. Well, I take that back. I did see one, um, <clears throat> but it was pretty warm and there was no wind. Today, there's just a slight breeze. And as of yet, it doesn't feel hot or well let me clarify it doesn't feel intensely hot um yesterday it did so we'll see how this afternoon goes so far the van's staying pretty cool um i did open up the window no, when i say open up the windows well i opened up the blinds um on the van so at least i could see out because i don't want to sit in the dark but uh if the temperature starts going up i'll have to cover the windows up again but um anything to keep the heat out but the ac has really really made a difference um i don't think i've really talked about it a whole lot but my old one was a, a 12 volt and it kind of uh, when it would get real hot temperatures it just wouldn't keep up it um I, I was lucky if i could get it down into the mid 80s um where this one it'll it'll get down into the 70s and it'll actually and when I say that, I'm talking about like if I'm in direct sun and it's, you know, over 100 degrees outside. Um, yeah, you, it's really hard to battle. But um, <clears throat> this AC is definitely keeping up. And I had it nice and cold because I like it cold at night. So I had it nice and cold last night and that felt really good. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I think it's I think it's going to uh, it's going to be a good modification. Just have to kind of get reoriented, reoriented to uh, where I store things, but um, I did set up, I found this little rug um, actually at, let me get it better. Actually, let me just turn this around. So I found this rug and little table at Joann's on clearance. And I, I wanna say the rug was like $10. And I think the little orange table was $8 maybe. Like they were marked down like 80%. It was crazy. And I've been looking for a little rug to put outside. And most of the ones I've seen are either really big or really expensive. So for, you know, 10 bucks, I was like, ah, this will work. Um, you know, just so I have a little place to, to set up. Uh, I might try to sit out this afternoon or this evening. Yeah, I might try to sit out. Um, like I said, there's a little bit of a breeze and it just kind of makes it a little more bear bearable. Yesterday, like I said, no breeze at all. So <laughs> it was hot, really hot. But uh, yeah, so you can kind of see behind me. Yeah, really nice, nice spot. The only problem with the spots in this area is <clears throat> the water location is in a weird spot, the water hookup. So like I come over here you see where my electrical is way down there um, the water's not over there it is let's see if I can even find it I think oh it's right here yeah right in front of me so this site and my site share this hookup so you'd have to have an incredibly long hose and I'm, I'm not going to carry a long hose with me um, but so yeah if you're gonna anytime I know I'm gonna reserve a spot on this side definitely make sure I have a full tank over there I don't know if you could see see where that see which table is that I think it's back well, I don't know how to indicate it. There's a, let's see if I could zoom in. Right 
in there where that electrical hookup is. That's the very first spot I stayed at when I came up here the first time. And uh, that's when I realized, yeah, make sure you have a full tank. <laughs> see where else. There's not too many people up here. Um, there are people up on the other end where I stayed, um, where I usually stay, which is up kind of in the little peninsula. And those are actually uh, concrete pads. Um, and you have your own water hookup. So they're a little bit nicer. However, uh, not all of them have shade or have full shade. Um, like the one that I really like to go to would gets full afternoon sun, so it would be unbearable uh, this time of year. But um, they're good spots, I guess, for the spring and the fall. But yeah, not, a, not as many people up here as there was in the spring. But I think part of it too is school started and uh, again, the heat, probably people are staying home. But I'm actually really surprised that there's people out here on the water. Because like I said yesterday, I saw one boat the entire time, the entire afternoon. But there, I think there's like a, well, I guess they're fishing boats. But yeah, I like the view over here. I kind of like this spot actually. Conf I mean, it's a good option if I don't get one of the spots up there. I guess that's what I mean. <laughs> but. Well, I think I'm gonna go in, make some lunch. I probably should just end this video now and upload it. Uh, in the end of my modification. The only thing we're still trying to figure out is what we're gonna put in between the beds. Uh, we had one idea, which was like those little travel cup holder thingies. You know, the ones that you stick kind of in a, uh, the space between seats or whatever. And I got a couple, but that didn't work. Um, they shift, so I don't know. I want something where I can charge phones, so we'll, we'll We'll see. We'll see what I figure out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think I'll end it here. Um, I'm going to stay one more night. Hopefully I'll uh, sleep better tonight. Um, and yeah, it does not feel as bad today. And I think today was actually supposed to be hotter. However, it's not afternoon yet. So once afternoon hits, that's when it really gets intense. So anyway, I will end it here. And uh, Thanks for watching, and I hope it was kind of informative. <laughs> See you later.